I've just obtained a post processor for my new horizontal machining center. I've opened that post processor in EdgeCam's code wizard, where we'll go to File and Compile. This is the process needed to install a new post processor. So let's jump over to a CAM session where I have a component with the stock and fixture oriented properly for the horizontal machining center setup I'm building. When I go to create a sequence, I see a list of machines, but my machine's not in this list. Stay tuned. In this tech tip, we're going to explain how to add the machines that we actively use for programming to the list, and also how to remove machines that we don't use that may be in the list. Let's minimize EdgeCam. And moving over to the EdgeCam launcher, where we see all of the software installed with the EdgeCam suite, we'll move over to the Applications area. We we'll use the Managers group and find the red tile for Machine Manager. This is a component of the EdgeCam tooling database. And in the database, this stores machines. They could be turning machines, milling machines, and wire EDM. Since this is a mill, we'll go to our milling group, and I'm going to use the plus symbol in the upper left corner to add a new machine. First step is to browse for the machine to use, and this browses to the location where our compiled post processors are stored automatically. I don't even have to locate it. And so I'll choose the post processor that we wish to add to the machine manager. This is a four axis mill, so I'll specify the type. And then we have the option of including things such as a control and even stroke limits. After entering the data, press the Save button. And it's just that easy. That machine is now added to the machine manager. So to test this out, if we jump back to our CAM session, and we create a new sequence, we now see our new machine in the list. Now there's also sample post processors from EdgeCam's database in there. And as a side note, there is a search. So if I start to type the name of the post, the list is automatically filtered down to make it very easy to select. Let's remove the text for a moment and get back to the main list. And I just want to point out that visually, the sample post processors have a thumbnail graphic image, but mine does not. Let's go work on that. So now I'm looking at the folder that contains the post processor package I obtained. And that includes the code wizard post processor, or the code wizard file. It also includes a prove out folder containing CAM files to evaluate the various intended functions of this post processor. And it includes an applications note document that explains important information that the CAM user may wish to know. But then there's also a JPEG file. Now that's a digital picture that in this case was obtained from the machine tool distributor. But quite frankly, this could be any JPEG or bitmap file, including a digital picture that you might take yourself. And I'm going to take and copy this. So I'll right click and copy. And there's a specific folder that this has to go to. Okay, so after copying this, we're going to jump back to the launcher and I'm going to use settings. The reason why is that settings offers us the file location option. This lists major paths in the software, and the code generator's path is where our compiled post processors go. And so right-clicking over there and choosing the option to open that folder directly, we are in the location where our compiled posts go, and this is where I need to paste the JPEG. So that JPEG needs to be pasted to the compiled folder location and it has to match the name of the post. When I head over to the machine manager and we look at the list of machines, you'll notice that my machine now has that thumbnail image. And when we head to a CAM session and begin a new sequence, 
and go select that post. Again, we see the thumbnail image. Now, next, I want to focus on the show all machines. Some of you may have noticed that. And the purpose here is that with show all machines off, you only see machines that have been entered into the machine manager. But with the option checked, then following the list of machines on the machine manager, you see all of the machines that are compiled post processors on your workstation. And you could select those and use them for a CAM setup. There's no harm in that. But what we want to do here is have the machine list represent active machines that we use for programming and not show inactive ones without having to delete those other post processors actually off our computer. So we'll go back to the machine manager. And what I'm going to do is select the sample post processors that are part of the sample database that I began with and remove these sample posts. Now again, that just removes them from the database. It doesn't actually delete them from the computer. So if I open up a sample part down the road that uses them, the posts are still there, but I won't have to see them for everyday programming. Let's do the same thing on the turn side and delete those as well. Now when we go to create a sequence, the only machines that I see, if show all machines is not checked, are machines that are listed in the machine manager. And this will make my job very simple as the CAM user. Let's go ahead and complete the virtual CAM setup. I'm going to skip the toolkit for the time being, choose the datum that is our work system zero, and we'll choose the connecting point to the machine in this case. There's a quick warning about material. I'll dismiss that. And we can see the preview of that part in the machine envelope properly situated exactly as we'd expect. A couple other things to point out in the machine manager. There is an icon that allows us to add all of the post processors that are compiled in one quick shot. This may be helpful if you have a variety of machines and don't want to add them one by one. You can then go through the list and add any specific data you'd like. The other thing to point out is the help system. And while this tech tip has been intended to help you better understand the machine manager and how to use it in EdgeCam, the help system is your reference on exactly how to use this piece of software. Do you have questions on this or other topics? Please contact us to discuss. We would love to hear from you.